School is about to begin. Children in Thailand must complete nine years of compulsory education. But the children in the Dakaram School in Bangkok have a bit of extra time because they start in kindergarten. And their instruction is different too. For the past year, this school has been trying out new teaching methods imported from Germany. The project aims to teach the youngest children about science using hands-on experiments. When will the water flow from one bottle into the other? If you shake the bottle, the water goes down. But if you don't, it stays up. That's because there's air up there and the water blocks the air. So if you don't shake the bottle, the air doesn't come down. So the water stays up there. Shaking the bottle creates an air vortex, and then the water can flow down into the bottle below. Today's lesson. The air might be invisible, but it's there, and it takes up space and exerts pressure. Learning and enjoyment, play and experimentation are inseparable in this class. It's an unusual experience for Thai teachers who are trained to put a priority on discipline. To carry out the experiments, they also have to abandon their traditional teacher-centered instructional style. Instead, the head of this pilot program emphasizes a student-centered approach. This is the rule. The teachers must let the students do the activities by themselves. This is the must, you see. So students have a chance to do the activities by themselves. And of course, they learn much, much better. Thailand is on the move and wants to make the leap from a low-wage economy to an industrial stronghold. The infrastructure is being modernized and new construction is everywhere. And now the educational system is also up for reform. Many companies in and around Bangkok are supporting the new school initiatives. Like the B. Grimm Group, the company was founded over 100 years ago by a German family. Now the company director is worried there may someday be a shortage of engineers here. We have to provide support from an early age, because we know that children who aren't interested in science and engineering won't go on to study it later. Like her co-workers, Carolina Link attended public school here. And she knows that students who don't go on to further education will end up with major gaps in their knowledge, particularly in science and math. I'm afraid I can't even remember my science instruction. All I can remember is that we had to write a lot. We started learning the alphabet in kindergarten, and everything was very disciplined. And classes were large, much larger than we're used to in Germany. But instruction in this class is different. This experiment is called Magic Black. The children say they like it because it's fun. The experiments are designed by the Little Scientist's House, a German foundation. This is the, the thing that, to, to prove that science is universal. Science is international. You can do the same thing in Germany, in Thailand, in the rural area, everywhere. There are already over 200 model classes here where Thai kindergarten children can learn and experiment, with many more in the works.